everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So today we're still up here in Skyloft, as we've been doing a couple of side quests recently, and we're also doing this today. Uh, I'm going to go back to see Fledge. Apparently, somebody said in the comments that if I give him another stamina pot, he will do a little bit better. So here he is. Five, six, seven... I'll do my best, and someday I'll be strong. Come back soon, and you can show me the new me. What do you mean? No, oh, come on. I'll do my best. No, don't do your best. I've just spent, my, I spent literally all but one rupee on getting this bloody shield that everyone said I needed to get. This one, this shield. Let me get it out. God, I can't. I just can't draw my sword in here. Apparently, yeah, doing that, and then also getting you a bloody stamina potion as well. Because I'm certainly hell is not going to use it. Ah, oh, so, whatever, it's fine, right, anyway, let's get to daytime, and apparently another thing that you were telling me in the comments as well is that the uh, little love letter story hasn't quite finished yet, so I'm going to take it to night time, or even to daytime, I'll have a little nap, and we'll find out exactly what's going on in that storyline, and we'll go to the morning, there we are, no more in the lullaby for today, or at least I don't think there will be, because I know we'll finish this quest, and then obviously we'll speak to the headmaster because he's going to know about whatever that little rhyme or whatever we have to find out about is the little song that we need there's nothing useful here okay thank you right in we go let's see what we got to get so we need to go speak to the little guy where is he the guy with the blue hair he's the one that likes the girl that sat, sat in the library here he is hello friend Ah, so, Karain finally knows about how I feel about her. Uh, what should I do? My heart is pounding. Uh, I guess we go speak to Karain, maybe? Oh, Granny's over there, what you got to say? You're not Karain in disguise, are you? Oh, maybe I am. These past few days, I swear I hear a voice, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. That's right, we already know about the guy on the toilet. We didn't. We decided not to use the love letter as toilet paper. We decided we were going to give it to somebody else. Right, where's Karain at? So, Karain's got nothing to say. Uh, so, who else is there to speak to? I mean, I suppose she likes Pippet, maybe? I mean, he's... Oh, he's there! Ah, I see. Okay, cool. Huh? What's up, Link? Um, huh? Karain got a love letter? Uh, I see. That's, um, interesting. Wow. Um, what, what do you think she intends to do? I'm gonna say, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna say she's gonna date him. There we go. What? This is a big problem, isn't it? I, not really. No. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Crane. You know, we're we're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about that. But you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high ideals of our knighthood school, right? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that, I can't really be called love at all. You know what I mean? So, should I just step in and make sure that she's found a true love? That aspires to the highest ideals of the fine educational institution, right? And what about me? I deserve to have an experience and unfettered... What? Oh, I, <laughs> I, I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? Ah, you, you just... You understand, don't you, Link? I know I'm not wrong about this. Am I? You like her, don't you? You like her! What? What? Don't be ridiculous, Link. We're just friends, I already told you that. I don't even understand how you can even make such a wild accusation. Oh, well, either way. I don't suppose you mind asking her what she's going to be doing, would you? Ah, uh, go then. I will play Messenger Boy for one more episode. <laughs> And that's it. I'm done. I'm not playing it after that. We still need to go see the headmaster. We spent more time sorting out, you know, first world problems than we do actually, like, first realm problems. Oh, God, they're talking. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I need some, like, Celine Dion playing in the background or something. So you're the one who sent the letter, right? Uh, y yes. Yes, I was. <laughs> it was a wonderful letter. Thank you. Ah, uh, it wasn't that great. And, um, what's your answer? Hmm, my answer? Ah, my answer. Oh, please! Please go out with me! Hey! Hey, wait! 
That's got to be Pippi, hasn't it? <laughs> this love triangle is amazing. I think you should go out with me instead. I'm, I mean, uh, I want to ask you out. Uh? What? Hey, 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 hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? I, I, I want to go out with Pippi. Yes, I want to go out with Pippi. <laughs> See that, you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks. <laughs> Wait a second. Really? Ah, Pippet. Truly, you choose me? <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I told her I loved her. She said no. Oh my god. Um, when you told me about the letter, it was that moment that I realized. I realized that, well, I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might have even never noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful, Link. I don't think I can ever thank you. Oh yeah, gratitude crystals! Ba -ba -da -da -da. You've got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in a crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five. Helping people feels good. There you go. Lesson of the day. Bing. We're on to 22, we need 8 more so the pedo bat will turn back into a uh, into a real boy. He wants to be a real boy! Is uh, the guy over here crying? Oh no, where's he gone to? Maybe he ran to his bedroom. Which one's he again? Oh, does that mean that there? <laughs> you know like people put a hat on the door if something, they're getting some hanky panky in there. Is Fledge being a bit of a pimp right now? That's Fledge's room, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Colwyn and Stretch. That's got to be these two, ain't it? No, nothing going on in here? Ah, you must have just run off outside then. Okay, never mind. I think that's the quest done then. We've got the gratitude crystals from here. I think that's our reward. So let's go and see the headmaster. We'll go see the owl. Oh, Link, you've returned to me. Yet you only have a simple rupee. One artifact. When did you get so poor? Can't have my daughter going out with a peasant. Here we go. Oh, oh, you're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Telling the story, bro? Hmm, mm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? Nope. It's a bit of a stress, I'll be honest, old man. What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? Uh, yes please. You know I'm not much of a singer. Oh, come on! I can see you on The Voice. That's just started in the UK, by the way. Great show, great idea. Go on, sing it. Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you. No, that's left for my wife, who is apparently missing. Aren't they always in Nintendo games? Ash never had a father in Pokemon, I don't have a wife, Zelda has no mother, and you're an orphan, I assume. But listen, as I said, <laughs> if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. I'm going to make him sing. Oh, you've... Guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite the earth and sky And bring to light the land Yes, that's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Oh goody! <laughs> oh goody! Oh you Show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower and before you a path shall open and a heavenly song you shall hear There we go. I believe that's the whole thing. Did you like my singing? Leave it in the comments section below. <laughs> 
The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've been to the tower. You've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about the two swirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one of these shows these whirling sails, the way to the tower, something shall open, or something shall happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. Right, well, looks like we've got to go outside to the tower then. And hopefully, it all should become clear. Let's make our way over there, see what happens. We go downstairs. I'm not digging this whole one rupee thing as well, by the way. <laughs> really, really not digging it at all. Uh, the way out is this way, isn't it? I've also found that if I roll through this area, it gets me out of places a little bit quicker. There we go. Is it daytime or nighttime? It must be daytime if the music's playing. It's only nighttime if in the lullaby is playing. Here we go. Ta da! Atham! Right, I tell you what, I'm not going through all that singing again. As beautiful as it was, I can't quite bear to live it again. So we're going to do a quick save. There we go. Good. Now we can sprint. Stamina! There we go. Oh, I've just realised I've got my net in my inventory. A couple of people in the last episode, by the way, thank you for doing that. You told me all about how I can actually get to... Is that a... What, what exactly is a sail? Isn't the sail like a big piece of cloth? Or is it... Or is that a set? No, no, that's like a Catherine wheel, isn't it? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Check me out! I think I... Hold on a minute. Oh, that's got to be it, hasn't it? Oh, oh, no, wait, 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 Other way. No, 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 no. Blow it the other way. Hold on, I overshot it. Okay, so th this must be... Oh, my God, I've got to go all the way around again. Right, I've got... Oh, no, 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 don't get your sword out, you idiot. I only wanted to rest my face on my Wiimote. Looks like I don't have any say in the matter. I just have to... <laughs> just have to keep it in one position, and one position only. Cool, so we've got that one there, and there must be another windmill somewhere else in Skyloft. That would make sense. Here you go. You spin me, I drowned. Hold on. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh, careful. Gotta make sure I don't overshoot it. Stop, stop, stop. Yes, there we go. Booyah! Right, so that's one done. So there's gotta be another sail if I look on the map somewhere. Oh, I've got my, I got should equip my new shield. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 I want my shield on. Sorry. There we go. Cool. Oh, come on. There we are. Gotcha. Good. Right, now if I were to look at the map, so we've got. Where is it? So there's like. It's like a. a basically, it looks like a boob. <laughs> look for the nipple on the map. Uh, there's one just there. Hold on. If I put that just there, we'll go to there. Any more? Any more for any more. Statue of the Goddess. No more nipples around the island? No, it must be it then. They seem pretty equidistant from it, so yeah, that must be the way. Let's go! Let's go! Wait, 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 what was that as well? Oh, wrong button. There was something else on the map as well. That thing. Oh, it's a bird statue. Ah, I see, it's a bird statue. Gotcha. Oh, no, don't want to go to either of those. Oh, look, there's... He's going to show us how strong he is. Oh, hey, Link. Hey, thanks for again for the stamina potion. Since you gave it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. I'm just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. You'll see. I'll be as tough as you... No <laughs> I'll be as tough as you in no time. Well, I wouldn't get ahead of myself right there, mate. Probably not the best idea, is it? No, not at all. Now, have I ever actually had a look through the houses in this end of town? I know I've been around to the graveyard, but I don't think I've ever actually inspected the homes. I'm just going to have a little look around, just to make sure that, you know, I've explored everything. Here we go. There might be more people that I can sort out gratitude crystals for. Oh, God. So I might, that's got to be a woman, hasn't it? Check her with a fan. It, it, admittedly, it's a quite a hot day. It's very warm here in Nottingham today. Oh, ho, ho. I love to collect antiques, you know. All these things you see in my house are very old and very valuable. Make sure you don't break anything, Okay. Okay, right, there we go. I didn't even know I had that voice in me. I scare myself sometimes when I play this game. <laughs> Some of the voices that I can do. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Okay, so we found a large lady with a fan. Uh, what else we got? Are there any houses around this side? Oh, no, that's a way out. So that takes us to the forest, which again, still can't remember what the forest is called. Let's go into this house. Who lives here? I was about to say, would it be Pippet's house? But obviously, Pippet lives. Oh, this looks a bit.
bit dusty, should we say? Yeah, it looks awful dusty. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah, Link, welcome. So here's the thing, Link. Oh, I can't do her voice. My house is terribly dirty. You're telling me. Pippa is always telling me to do something. Oh, I kid you. I, honest to God, I promise you that I'm not planning this out. I had no idea that Pippa lived here. That's so random. Does she know that? Is that, that must be Pippet's mum. That's got to, Unless he's into older women. Maybe. But then he's cheating on her with Corrine. <gasps> oh no. The, tri the love triangle's become a love cube. Or a love square. Oh no. Um, he's always telling you to do some dusting, but I can't bring myself to do it. That's why I wanted to ask you if you mind cleaning. Uh, go on then. Let's have a spring clean. Spring's almost over, so why not? There we go. Oh, hey, oh, there's a wasp trying to get into my room right now. At the window. I swear to God, if he gets in, I'm going to freak out. I mean, this would be great if I had a face cam on, but I've got a bit of a worried face on right now. What's that? A broom? You know, I don't even remember where you where we keep the crazy thing. Or if we ever owned one. <laughs> Most of the time, I just wait for a good strong wind to come away and blow the dust. Go on, then. I hope you realise that doesn't actually get rid of the dust, by the way, love. All that simply does is just moves it around the room. We'll do it, though. There we go. Let's clean up your bed. You can repay me with a sexy damn. There we go. Get rid of all of this. Oh, look at that plant. Oh, I broke the plant part. That's your fault. You know what you was getting yourself into when I started this job. There we go. But na 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 house cleaners. If you're in Sky Loft and your house is wrecked, who are you gonna call? Some guy with a massive gust of ballows, which you can only get from a secret dungeon, which is down in the desert area. But you don't really want to go down there yourself. It's a little bit dangerous. You need to be the one that's chosen by the Temple of Time. And you have Fee, which is an imaginable character that actually helps you out in your quest to try and rid the world of evil. Otherwise, you can just call Link. That's that's a short way of putting it. <laughs> are we all done? Are we all clean? Oh, oh, what are you holding your boobs for? She's a cougar, isn't she? Oh, dearie me. She likes that breeze, doesn't she? There we go. Are we not done yet? When all the dust is gone? Yeah, I'm already done. Of course I'm done. What do you mean am I done? Oh. I could have sworn I'd finished it then. I was like, I'm pretty sure that I've cleaned the house properly. Here we go. Yeah, but broom, blah, 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 blah. We know you're a tramp. There we go. Lady and the tramp all rolled into one. Right, come on then. Let's finish tidying up. There we go. Oh. Shit. I'm not. Wait up, she's smashing plates. Oh, I love that breeze. Smash, 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 crash. There we go. And we'll get some of that. Some of that. Are we all done? Can't see anything else that looks dusty. Let's have a little look around on them. Is this desk dirty? Oh, no. Any more windows? No, it looks pretty much done. There we go. Well, all the dust is gone. There we go. What are you going to give me? You're going to give me money or what? Oh, for God's sake. I No, balls to you. I don't even care. Not even bothered. You can stay living in your, in your trampy hole. <laughs> I don't want your money, woman. I don't need your pity. No. Right, so we, we've got the point that either Pippi is dating an old woman who's very smelly, or he's dating the young girl, Corrine, who looks a bit butch. He's got good taste in women, he has. Very good taste. Right, who lives here then? Here we go. Oh, the house is empty. Uh, this is where Mr. Tingle lives. Oh, you found my home and I have a child. <laughs> I'm going to raise him to be just like me. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go through it. Oh, there's a little kitty. It's a little kitty plush toy in the thing there. Right, so we don't know who lives here. Maybe it's the man that cuts bamboo. Maybe that's his like holiday home and this is where he actually lives. Ah, possibly. Possibly. Right, hold on. I'm going to check one more house, I reckon. And then I'll go over to the uh, windmill. Let's go for this one, then. Let's do it. Let's open it up. I think there might actually only be one left anyway, so that's all good. Who lives here? Ah. Uh... Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, all that luck does is make one filthy mess after another. I swear he never leaves a grease pot wherever he sits. I know he likes tinkering around with his oily doodads, but I'm drowning in laundry here. That lug? Who lives here then? That's right. My greasy fingered son who runs the scrap shop in the bazaar. Oh, the sc. Ah, oh, okay, I know what you mean. Welcome to the scrap shop! 
I can make tools and make it better, make it stronger. Yeah, the scrap shop. Uh, he's up at unspeakable hours. Blah 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 blah. Oh, a robot. What the hell? He has a robot. Right. Okay. Interesting. So the guy, I'll, I'll go see him in the bazaar later on. I want to see what this robot he's got is. Right. Let's go to the other windmill. Let's go spin the Catherine wheel, and we can get ourselves through the light portal. Oh, there's a little bridge here. There we go. Oh. All right. I said I, said I was going to do one more. I'll do this one just because I've come here by accident. There we go. No, don't run up the door. <laughs> you don't knock on the door with your feet. It's not how it works. You have to clench your fist and tap lightly on the door. Here we go. Who lives here? Maybe this is where the bat used to live. He's got a thing for living under bridges. Yeah, we haven't got a clue who lives here. Right, anyway, let's go to the windmill. That's where we got to go. So here we got to go, baby. I don't know why I'm doing DJ Professor K voice, but it's all right. Ignore that. Right, cool. So that's all that done. Let's go. So how do we get... Do I have to go over the house, maybe? Oh, let me roll into that tree. Uh, oh, there's a bug there. No, no, no. Oh. Wait, hold on. Can you catch the bugs by just walking into them? You caught one Sky Stag Beetle. These bugs are really popular with the children of Skyloft. Their pincers pack a lot of crunch, so watch your fingers. Uh, why are they popular with the kids then? They shouldn't be playing with stuff like that. Are they mad? Anyway, let me get my net on, by the way, just so. Just in case. There we go. Good times. Oh, there's a bench here. I actually have not need to recover any hearts. There we go. Hey! Hey, Link, what's up? So, you're curious about the windmill, eh? Well, pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so it always catches the wind no matter which way it's blowing. Yep. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so you could turn it. Ah, oh, The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped off the edge and down beneath the clouds. Of course it did. Of course it did. Now I've got to go back into the, I'm assuming, the forest to go get it. We're closest to the green portal by the looks of things. The windmill's been sitting there ever since. Right. Fine. Oh, hey, Alfie. You highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's do it. How didn't he freak out at Fee? Maybe he can't see her. I mean, it looks like his eyes aren't even open. And that's not racist. That's the truth. He's got too much man scar on and he can't see through his fringe. <laughs> right, okay. So the yellow portal was closest to that windmill. And it, yeah, it's definitely the green one, isn't it? How could you even go looking for a propeller? Once it's gone down the clouds, it's gone for good. Yeah. Gondo at the scrap shop. There's a flying robot. We just, we, yeah, we just found out about that. Ah. I see. Awesome. I'll tell you what, let's go over to the scrap shop then. Let's see what the crack is over there. I want to see what, what this robot's going to do. There we go. Oh, there we go. I wonder if it'll be like the robot. See, like the iron golems in Minecraft in Lapita Castle of the Sky. I hope it's that kind of robot. Although, if it can fly... It'd have, to need to, it'd have to have some pretty big wings, wouldn't it, to support that sort of weight. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We're nearly there anyway. Into the bazaar! Ah, da, 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 da. Here we go. Where is he? Scrap shop. Here he is. Got him. There he is. Hey, hey kid, what's up? You're like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? I certainly do. Huh? Huh? Oh, well, it's about that old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with, huh? You probably just came here to make fun of that crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot. Do you know what that means? <laughs> that means you believe in my grandpa's tales. You're the first person ever. I'm so happy that someone else believes me. But, if I, <laughs> but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot, uh, what's it called again? Uh, it'll come to me in a second. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember he named it scrapper He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once when you called him He'd go anywhere and haul anything Sadly as you can see now though. He's just another bucket of old junk. Oh Oh, he's even got a your mouth's a bit weird today friend. It's a bit strange an ancient flower is what you need uh, Take mine. I must already have one Ooh. What? You, you have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing! Okay, right, okay. So, this is an ancient flower. <laughs> I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming from on its stem. Great. With this, we can fix Scrapper. 
Wait right here. I'll have, a, I'll have him up and running in no time. How does he know how to fix him if the things never... I mean, I suppose mechanics don't change over the years, do they? Woo! There you go. Wait it. Oh my god! It's a... It's one of those guys. I got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to get... I can't do that voice. He's ready to go. At him. Uh, who's this green clad individual of small stature? I'm not small! Not small. Whoa, it talked! Can you believe that? I guess I already did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix him. So say thank you. Um, are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks. No, you shouldn't be. You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. I saved your life. Hey now! Watch it! That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. That's what I just said. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're gonna help him. Oh, what? I have to work with him, even though it hates me. This individual may have restored my operations, but I'm not inclined to offer assistance. Zut! Serving children is very low in my task priority. There we go. That's probably because Google Chrome has got seven processors up above it. It's taking up like a gig of RAM. Materials from the windmill have been yielded as a signal. Right, so I can douse for them. I see. Awesome. That makes sense. I can't carry them on my pouch. So that's where he comes into play. Ah. <laughs> He's freaking out. <laughs> Your name is Fee. Should I call you Mistress Fee? Or are you looking for something, Mistress Fee? Oh. You understand. Right, okay. She said that without even moving her lips. Fee's just like, bitch please. I'm an ectoplasm creature. You're just a little bit of hunk of junk. There we go. She's like, back to business. Let's get the propeller back to Skyloft. Awesome. There we are. Master Short Pants. Stop calling me short! Offer assistance. Yeah, whatever. I don't even want your help anyway. Fee can call on you whenever you want, and you'll make haste. Whatever. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff from beneath the clouds? You know, you can always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Now, people warned me about this. He doesn't really tell you anything. Or at least I don't think he does. I shall speak to him anyway. Let's do it. Oh, let me just check my dousing ability first. With his ugu eyes. <laughs> there we go. My propeller is selected. At him. Right, let's speak to him then. Let's find out what he wants. Oh, gaze into my eyes. Stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes are made of many things. Oh, yes. These lovely round eyes can see everything into the future. Allow me to tell you your fortune, boy. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Single loose thread on your stitching. I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune. But this time I'll only charge one rupee. Thanks, he's having pity on me. Now I'm going to have no rupees. So, do you want me to tell you your fortune? Do you dare discover fate these before your eyes? No, you know what? I'm going to keep hold of my rupee. Oh, I'm hurt. Is this how you respond to kindness? Don't you trust these big round... I don't care about your big round eyes. No, go away. That's it. I am stubborn, yes. Right, I literally don't have any choice, do I? I'm going to try one more time. If he doesn't let me then... Is that it? Are we done? Good. Right. Awesome. <laughs> Finally. He's going to leave us alone. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll leave it there for today. In the next episode, we'll head down into the forest and we'll go use our dousing ability to try and find the propeller that we much need to turn that windmill over to the light tower, I believe it's called. So I shall see you all in a little bit.